Alright, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. Okay, y'all seen the thumbnail. Y'all read the title under the thumbnail. It's still going down with this whole young case. Young Dolph scenario. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the Young Dolph case. Y'all, y'all dig it. So, again, the DEA autopsy reports ruled that Young Dolph's Makita's hit was a homicide. All right? That it was a homicide, and that's what the DEA is ruling it, right? Let me give y'all the definition of what homicide is, right? So, a homicide is a legal term for any killings of a human being by another human being. All right? Homicide itself is not necessarily a crime. Y'all understand that? Let me run it back. Homicide itself is not necessarily a crime. For instance, a justifiable killing of a suspect by the police or a killing in self-defense is not labeled criminal activity under murder um, criminal activity under murder, right? So murder and manslaughter fall under the category of unlawful homicides. Y'all dig it? So under the common law, dealing with murder, now if the murder was intentional, if it was an intentional killing, dealing with that it was unlawful or uh, non-justifiable, uh, dealing with uh uh, not dealing with uh, it wasn't a self-defense act. Um, if you had, uh, if it was the act of committing with committing with malice, or or forethought, basically a forethought is a planned act. All right. So in today's society, murder is defined by the statute. Okay, rather than common law, like knowing the difference. The difference between first and second degree murder. Alright. So, manslaughter being the highest degree. And reckless homicide being the lowest degree. If not on the grounds of self-defense. Okay. Meaning that. This is basically telling you guys. Like I told y'all before. It can go for a twist. Because they labeling it a homicide. You know what I'm saying? Then that means it's going to do some twisting, right, of the whole storyline. Because it also says that, again, homicide itself is not necessarily a crime. For instance, a justifiable killing of a suspect by the, by the police or a killing in self-defense is not a liable criminal activity. Okay? Y'all got to understand this when you break it down, dealing with definitions and terminology when it's going to court, all right? Because this whole case, again, is just going for the turn. And I told y'all, based on the charge being the highest degree, uh, dealing with someone being sent up, now that is really a homicide. Someone going, most likely, going to plead to a lesser of the N1 charge, which happens to be a reckless homicide since they already label it mostly a homicide and just not a murder even though dealing with the case when the police see it that's the first thing they uh, suspect they going by alleged reports until they get all the documents and paperwork together to see if it's really uh, between a manslaughter or a homicide right because again a manslaughter is basically detailing that you did it with no moral grounding, no care. It wasn't dealing on the grounds of self-defense, okay? And then, again, they let you guys know that homicide can't be a term used dealing with law enforcement, that it can be a justifiable killing by the police, by the police or a killing in self-defense, Okay? So again, they basically trying to say with this homicide case that either somebody in that department or somebody was acting in a um, act of self-defense, that they was acting in self-defense. Okay. Now this high, this type of high-profile case, 
It's not about how much your lawyer can prove you're not guilty of the M1, but disprove the court's decision of a M1 charge being against you. Okay, so again, you're basically saying that your lawyer is now on the grounds of protecting you against them saying that you are liable, you are being liable held liable to the account of a first degree murder so they're going to argue against that and not even argue against that mostly argue the course and say how could this have been a uh, murder charge against my um, against my the person I'm representing right you know what I'm saying so again it's based on how your lawyer can represent you in court that where it can um, go your way. Because we, the reason why I'm saying that, we didn't see people beat in one cases. And people say, how? I thought they had the proper evidence. Hey, it goes to show that based on what the court is presenting your charge to be, your lawyer is there to fight against that charge and say, nah. See, y'all saying it's this. It could be a reckless homicide and not a M1 because a reckless homicide carries uh, less years. It's less of a charge. All right. Now, it comes into question. The people, the folks, the fans want to know how they rule a homicide. How they rule it a homicide. Was it usage of the actual footage from Makita's, from uh, Family Dollars? from the laundromat or the gas station? Was it employees, witnesses that work at one of these businesses who stated what they saw at the time, dealing with the timestamp? I'm just saying, I hope during trial, they show the actual footage that places Cornelius Smith or even Straight Drop on the scene of the crime. Other than that, we all know it's planned. But, if it doesn't hold, they have to let them go. Or, again, they're not going to plead. They already said they're not guilty dealing with the M1. So, again, they say they're not guilty of an M1 with the courts, the charge that the courts is presenting them with. Again, they can get away with a reckless homicide, you know. So, again... Um, As stated in the homicide, the definition, was it in the act of self-defense, like I stated to you guys before? Or was it someone on the department who did it? And we know when it's termed a homicide, no one on the department is going down, going down for this act. Rest in peace, young Dolph. Condolences to the family. Again, this is just showing how, you know, it's a lot of moving pieces and it's a lot of um, evidence, evidence that's being misconstrued, let alone with the witnesses or the suspects, because you don't really, I guess they're keeping the witnesses, you know what I'm saying, in protection. They they ain't having them make no statements or interviews or nothing like that. So to me, it's dealing with most of the people who are doing the talking. They're not seeing as witnesses. You know, most likely more suspect than a witness. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PBH Network.